is Aliyah Kapili, and I'm a 19-year-old classically trained singer. If you would like to get to know more about me, please follow me on my Instagram at Aliyah Kapili and on my TikTok at Aliyah.Kapili. Feel free to check out my Facebook page as well at Aliyah Louise Kapili, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you everyone for all your support. I really appreciate it. Today, I'll be reacting to Falling in Reverse, and I'll be checking out their The Drug In Me Is Reimagined. So Falling In Reverse is an American rock band that formed in 2008 by lead vocalist Ronnie Radcliffe while he was incarcerated. The band's original name was From Behind These Walls, but it was quickly renamed to Falling In Reverse shortly after formation. I am very excited to be reacting to this today because this is their reimagined version of their hit song, The Drug In Me. So with that being said, now on to direction! Quick disclaimer, I am nowhere near an expert as I still have a lot of things to learn. Me reacting is just a way for me to appreciate the singer's talent based on the knowledge I have so far. It's also a way for me to learn new things. I also like how they included some classical instruments such as cello and I really love his voice. I like how there's some fullness to his tone and how he would sing with breathiness or his falsetto and would add some vibrato. Every single time you roll with crooked eyes I felt the darkness as it tried to pull me down So with my thoughts, I shook the hand of doubt Running from my past, I'm praying feet Don't fail me now I lost my goddamn mind It happens all the time is that I am a bit familiar with the original version of the drug in me so I find it really cool how in this reimagined version of this song it's made more into a ballad and it's almost like opposite to the original version because now this reimagined version is more of a slow paced song in comparison to how in the original it was definitely more of a fast paced song I really like the emotion he is bringing out here and also the dynamics that he used. Something really cool that he does is that he does this dynamic build up in the line, running for my past, I'm praying feet don't fail me now. And so he makes the listeners believe that it will go to like a climax. But no, he doesn't follow the expectations. Instead, he goes to a softer dynamic in like the lyrics, I lost my goddamn mind, it happens all the time. I just think it's really cool when an artist does that where they make the listeners expect something, but then 
they don't follow that expectation through. These are just some unique details I wanted to point out. Can't you see? I've got these questions always running through my head. absolutely beautiful the amount of emotion that he put there was amazing i love that raspiness that he adds to the belts that definitely added a lot of emotion to that part God damn mine. it happens all the time i can't believe i'm actually Listening to the original version of this song, this reimagined version is something I wouldn't expect because I think this reimagined version definitely gives this song a whole new perspective or makes this song almost sound like a whole new and different song completely. And I think that's cool because both. The original and this reimagined version just shows the versatility of the artist. Talking about vocal techniques, I really like how he would add some vocal cry or how he would do quick dynamic shifts. to the new section where there is this awesome switch up i just wanted to talk about some things he really knows how to sing with emotion definitely he really means the lyrics that he is singing and also i love 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 that piano part that was beautiful i'm so high on misery
blown away. Really love that switch up, how he just did like harsh vocals or screams. Those definitely made this song end on a very emotional note. I am in love with this reimagined version. That's the end of the video! I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye friends!